I feel like Amazon. I like want to see if it's like bows, how the bows are, you know? That's fair, Epi. Or we can try Barbarian and see what they've done for the barb. Punch Necro. Dark waiter with two gifted subs. All right, we'll do Barbie. This is the mod I was showing off yesterday, yeah. Happy with five gifted subs. Goodness gracious. All right, let's see. We start with Bash. Well, that's nice. So that's interesting. Bash is, is that? Oh, one to Bash is on our axe. Starter's Cube of Endless Convenience. Contains Book of Save Return, Book of Insight, Endless Key Ring. Oh, nice. Cool. Dude, look at all the little tiny ticks on the experience. Is auto pickup of gold not enabled in this? Do I have to enable it? Gameplay. Where's auto gold pickup at? Auto gold pickup. It is. Hmm. Why was it not uh, picking that gold up? Whoa, there's a boss out here. A boss in the Blood Moor. Multi bosses. Dread! What? Congrats, Tonkin. Wow! With the 50! Savage, wild and bold, barbarian tales unfold, axes cleave, stories told. That was beautiful. What poetry. Okay, so we've got... Somebody's giving holy fire. I want to know, like, who the boss is that's giving it, but I don't see them. It was way up. Sorry, resist fire. Yeah. A robe. Ooh. Plus three defense. Oh, it's sorceress only. Oh. Okay. Assassin only. Sorceress only. Wow, they've really gone into the uh, specific loot. I'm not sure I love that piece as much. Bonesy, why'd you make loot so specific to classes? What is this, Diablo 4? Garb, short for garbage. Amen. Alright. Have more options. 
mods. Oh, it auto replenishes. Wow, it, it's self replenishing. That's wild. Don't have enough gold. Oh no. How do I make this into gold? Oh, that I put it in my stash. Gotcha. Uh, dexterity. Vitality, vitality. All right, let's look at skills. We have double throw. We have Icy Trail, launch a javelin that has ice in its path. Wild. Razor Sharp, grants a piercing ability to your throwing, throwing axes and causes bleed. Nice. Okay. Combat Efficiency. You just increase movement and attack speed. Sacrifices movement speed and defense to increase your damage output and boost other rage abilities. Interesting. Raises the defense of you and your summons. Increases maximum life, reduces enemy damage and defense. Sacrifice increase. Okay, there's a lot of that. Close quarters. Frenzy Ground Render deals physical and fire damage to nearby enemies. Huh. Bye, Dodat. Causes foes to bleed and take more damage. Hitting again with the skill will cycle the effect off. Why would you want to turn it off? Deals fire, cold, and physical damage to a single enemy. Rowan, Berserk, Heroic Leap, Master of Arms. What do you guys think? What's a, what's a cool bar build, Ronzi? What do you think? Throwing axes explode on impact. I mean, it feels like throwing is cool. Throw multiple axes at once. Seems like throwing is the, the place to go here. Yellow Sacred Armor drop? Rip. Warren's joining the meeting. He doesn't go outside. Yeah, the bash is, uh, bash is nice. Throwing is the most unchanged and the most unbalanced. In a good way or a bad way? Will I enjoy or will it be awful? Yeah, look at the size of the axe in his hand. I just realized how big it is. <laughs> it's actually hysterical. Yeah, we could just enable respec and then just switch as we want. It's true. Necromancer only for the ribcage. What do you what do you think, Bonesy? What should I play? Think I should go for the throw? 
or something else. Did you get some uh, work done today, Warren? Some good stuff? Icy trail plus fan out. Sounds good. Fixed all the bugs. Awesome. Did you... So the biggest bugs that I... Honestly think once they're fixed, then we're like good to go. Is... Uh, Man, that bash is really nice. Is the ones where when you're selecting actions, yeah, the action's just being bugged. Like back and forth selecting the actions, it gets really buggy. And then also trying to click on, sometimes trying to click on a, on a item or whatever is. They weren't bugged, they were bugged. It was showing the wrong item. It was not allowing me to select it. Yeah, then the icon being messed up is a big part of it. The rogues are safe. I do think it was still wrong in some ways. Yeah, Bash has the, the splash on it. Three to roar, two to murder calling. Nice. No stamina potions. I guess stamina's just uh, changed up. All right, Icy Trail. Greetings. War Stance, Homing Harpoon, Combat Efficiency, Area Winds. But we'll just... I'll max that. So I need javelins. Is life not being full after leveling up? It was also hard to click on an item though, because the text would sometimes be like where you were trying to click. So we need to make it so that's not happening. Like when you hover over an item, the text needs to be off of cursor, like in Diablo 2, where it puts it right next to above or below item. Oh wait, I don't have any gold, do I? How am I supposed to get gold in this game? Good lord, nothing's worth any gold. Hi, Mr. Buddha. Why does it matter? Just, it looks better. Why would they do it in D2? Because it looks better. I thought I was supposed to get 100 gold there. Yeah, gold's actually hard to get. All right, I'm going to sell this charm. We're going to buy some throwing javelins. Oh my god, it's terrible. It doesn't do any damage. Oh, it does damage on it. Shatter. It's kind of cool, actually. Homing Harpoon is so less cool. Why would anybody use that over it? Or above. Yeah, I think it just needs to appear to the side, just not, not directly on top of it. Because it's like right now it appears like halfway on it and it doesn't look as good.
I think we should copy D2 in it for that regard. We can take a look again. We can ask chat what they think. Um, natural resistances. Oh, that's nice. Sagar's move speed to increase your damage output. Doesn't really help us there. You can damage this other rage abilities. Alright, we'll do combat efficiency. We can we can take a look really fast. Yeah, there's new end game areas. There's a hundred plus levels and there's new bosses and things. feels like loot is harder to get in the game and like potions and things transforms into Madoc and increases life attack speed and rating requires two throwing axes and uses double throw what I get to just turn into Madoc okay I, I want that That's dope. Are we playing any more PD2? Yeah, I'll probably go play a little bit more of it. Yeah, the gems aren't worth a lot. Definitely need an able respec. Yeah, we'll 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 play around and try some stuff. It's a throwing axe. For now, we'll start with the ice. Honestly, this ice is pretty dope. What up, Forte? Appreciate that. Yeah, this ice javelin's dope. Grab all gems and runes for the bag. Oh yeah, that's right. Can you bag multiple things at once? Or no? One at a time. Gems you can and same runes you can. Nice. That's actually super nice. Alright, Warren says it's broken. Yeah, I thought it was. Oh, that's ethereal. That's what that blue is. Alright, well I'm guessing that quantity doesn't actually drop, so we can use ethereal, right? Hate the Astros? Me too. Why am I wearing this shirt? It was free.
I will say, it, I'm not, where do I see how many stat points I have left? Perfect diamond already? Yeah, but ice doesn't seem to com consume quantity. This is Icy Trail. Okay. Dude, this skill's dope looking. I, need uh, I wish that I could put my town portal down here. That's something I do wish existed. You feel infused with energy. What happened there? Nothing happened. Did I gain some energy or something? Two would make the most sense. If I want to go for that. Okay. Oh, wait, I have more gems. That's right. Okay, and then runes, we can do the same. Oh, only, I gotcha. Wait, every gem is worth one? So I put a perfect diamond in, can I get a perfect diamond only out or what? Gems always extract as perfect. Sheesh. Good evening. Yeah, I'm adding remodded to the title. All right, one percent deadly strike, chance of open wound. If you wanted to do that. Think people are gonna read the title? No, it doesn't really matter. This is remodded. Okay, so stat points available. Is that 25? 50? Wait, why would I have 50 stat points available? What just happened? Oh, I respect accidentally? Oh. Oh, I altered. Yeah, 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 yeah.
Okay, that makes sense. Alexander, thank you very much for the raid and host. What's up? Good to see ya. This is a cool spell. But part of me does want to just become Madoc and double throw. This is a mod. There is no spell that looks like this. Normal D2. Yeah, I hit 12 now, so we could do it if we wanted. my tower go? The whole tower is gone. What in the world? They removed the tower. Hey Sharky, how you doing? Nadine! What's going on? Good to see ya. But it seems like everything in the tower drops runes. Nice cut. City here, baby. I kind of wish this had pierce. Amrun from Normal Countess? What is this? What is going on here? What is this? Jewels are good or not exactly. We'll have to just wait on that, I guess. I love the kill counting. That's super cool. Am I entering any individual meets soon? For what? Track meets? Mm. 
yes, you can put in a RAL and take out 50 L's or whatever. You get the value of the rune in there. So if you find a Zod, that's worth four jaws if you wanted. Dragon field. Uh, no, I don't have any any plans to compete for now. Maybe one day I'll, I'll do some older man competition, but I don't even sleep right now, you know. Is it dropping back down? Hope so. Does it work in the opposite direction? Yes. You just get points, basically. Do what you want with said points. M S. Yeah. You kind of get like rune dust. That's crazy. The tower is so tiny. You can't play multiplayer in any mods in Diablo 2. Mana Exchange Shrine. You feel infused with energy. What actually happens at the Mana Exchange Shrine? I need to know, man. Sacrifice HP for mana. Early change I forgot about. But I didn't gain any mana when I clicked it. You're saying I just lose like 20 life not permanently, temporarily, and then I gain 20 temporary mana or something like that? Or is it a permanent exchange? <laughs> he doesn't know. I lost mana, but I don't think I gained any life clicking on that. I think I just gave mana away for no reason. Llama the bug finder. Does seem to be my job. Warren, did you push out the latest LOM RPG? I want to go and look at the thingy. No. Can you... Can you fix the icon thing and then we can look and see... If it's ready or not? Already fixed it? Okay. Can you push that and then we take a look and have chat do some voting?
All right, let's... So let's use the bag. Barbarian, I mean. Um, okay. So let's do this. Six to strength as well. Hello. I already had a Taleth in there. Oh, whoops. Definitely got some median vibes. I mean, median has got more for sure, but median is like crazy and they can do a lot more with it. Reduce cooldown by 4%. But yeah, I mean, median is also like a long time in development. This is uh, much shorter, you know. How long have you been developing this, Bonesy? Check out all the rune words in the cube recipe menu. Probably. Join this spell. Can throwing weapons have sockets in this? Or no? Is that still a no? Since day two of Technal Alpha, gotcha. Llama RPG music, please. <laughs> you think we just have llama RPG music magically just like here where we can just play it on a whim the answer is yes I know, Arvindor, that was sad.
Throwing weapons can't have sockets. Ooh, and there are runes for them. Such launch you can change by sword into by item type. Nice. I haven't found any throwing weapons with sockets yet, though. I don't believe. Lama RPG music. I just want more. That's the biggest problem with it. I mean, there's so much of it already, but I'm just like, man, how do I get this guy to just make a thousand Lama RPG songs? Nice, Vichy. Marry him. Moo girl might not be so keen on that idea. Okay. Let's check out... Ooh, Mace! First unique. Let's check out the... Uh, see if he changed it all or not. Crush flange. Nope. Still the same item. Only 20% chance crushing blow. That is different, isn't it? Right? I believe it's higher than that. Thirty-three percent, yes, thank you. Like the speed I have is better to just keep. Alright, we have Ariat's Wind. Throws multiple javins that create cyclones from the mountains. Yo! Oh, it's got a cooldown though. What is this? Diablo 4? What are these cooldowns? Gotta build up your cooldown reduction stat. What is this? Diablo 4? Not 
Huh, a choke you two. Interesting. You're gonna have vulnerable as well? Whoa! Dude's like right there. Take back up. Ooh, Angelics, nice. I like that bag a lot. Two socketed belts. So we're not going to get three sockets yet on those. Let's try respecking. Maddox conscious sounds fun. Fan out sounds fun too. You have to have double throw. Oh, it uses double throw. So I don't actually need double throw for it. So if it uses double throw, do points in double throw help it? Can I use fan out while I'm in Maddox form? No. Rip. Okay. So I'll just do double throw on Maddox Conscious, as seems to be the idea. Oh wait, I don't have throwing mastery. Is there a throwing mastery? No. Oh no! So I am going to run out of quantity, because there's no throwing mastery here. Throwing mastery is first tab. Oh. Level 30 required. Got it. That's the item level. Mm. 
Is that so, Scott? Wonder if it's better to put more points into double throw than Madoc? Potentially. Five percent more damage, four percent more life. I mean, it definitely is more damage from the double throw. Ice skill seems better. Yeah, I feel like the ice was a little bit better. Get crit. Do I not have crit? Is it in the masteries? I mean, combat efficiency does seem good. I don't see anything for crit. All right. He said he likes fan out with what? What was the other thing he liked fan out with? Icy trail and fan out. Oh, got it. Natural resistance, exoskeleton. Combat efficiency. And battle tested. Yeah. We'll go more combat efficiency. Right, let's try a fan out. Whoa! Excuse me, poison damage. Oh my god! What are you done with poison damage? I'm dead. Take so much mana for this. Let's probably put those in. I mean, fan out's pretty dope, but the mana cost is maybe too much. So far, Icy Trail's still the best. When we get more mana later on, maybe it changes. I need mana. Okay, let's do it. Ooh, explosion radius increased by 50%. Nice. You can see there's a lot. Got to invest in energy. Ugh, brutal. Bedtime GG. Have a good one. Where's my giant explosion radius? It's supposed to be huge. It 
so tiny. I don't think Blizzard fired any of the Vicarious Visions people. I think some of them just left after Blizzard brought them in. Is it because I don't have Javelin to look smaller? I don't know. It feels like that. Definitely a concerning piece, you know. And a sad piece, because those were the guys that really, like, knew what they were doing with it. It's definitely a smaller radius. Yeah, which is weird, because it should be a 50% larger radius than it was. Remodded Holy Grail. Did you make it negative 50% accidentally, Bonesy? <laughs> or... Does the size of my weapon change its size somehow? Because it just feels small in its explosion. PD2R soon. He said, Senpai said he's not going to do it anymore. He like was considering it, but I think once they made the change. Yeah, I mean, this is feeling worse than the other skills I was running. Let's Beta two is great, yeah. Would have been sweet for Detour, but he won that online component. Yeah, somebody gonna need to figure out server architecture there. Hack the game a little bit. All right, let's try with javelins and see if it changes it. You found the issue. Should I respec out of 20 out of Icy Trail then? For now, yes? Okay. Nineteen it is. Wait, I have to cast natural resistance? Oh my god.
There we go, that's better. Not so natural, is it? Oh yeah, the thing is, if people figure out how to hack D2R and get private servers up, I don't think Blizzard will do anything about it. I think they would just leave it alone and let it just exist like it did with LOD. That's my thoughts. You don't think Butcher would be fond of it? I think they'd just ignore it. But maybe I'm wrong, maybe they would, maybe... come after it. Never know with Blizzard, man. They haven't done a band wave in three seasons? Exactly, that's what I'm saying. They've, like, abandoned us. Like, but what about Diablo 4, guys? Oh. Curtis, thank you very much. I can telekinesis. Oh my god, I can telekinesis items in this? Oh my gosh. Oh, I've got all my stats still. Haloronis, thank you! I just TK'd unidentified charms, so... Seems like you can tell it can use this pretty much everything. Which I guess if it's not online, then like, why not? The only issue really is when it goes online and then people are telekinesising stuff, you know. I guess, yeah, if you go to Bonesy's guide, then that'll take you there as well. I was just going to say, I have a video up now on my YouTube. Wait, no, I didn't launch it yet. Oh, oops. Boom. For a D2R launch. <laughs> we'll launch it up now. Talks a little bit about some of the settings and things you can do there. Hey, Sol Rune is a mid rune. Let's go, baby. I'll hold on to Angelix. Let's 
It's not a bad cube size if you're into that sort of thing. Um, yeah, whatever. Don't really need all that. Let's take a look at itemization. Item types. No, where's the rune words at? Where I can look and see. Mercers will live longer. So if I change this, then that will actually adjust it. Like I can make my mercenaries live longer? No. Oh, that's just info, okay. Yeah, just for single player. Ah, uh, yeah, where's the... I just want to see the list of Rinwards. In the cube. Uh, here we go. Show cube recipes. 80! Thank you! Appreciate the sub. General. Okay, that all looks normal. Storage bag stuff. Color dyes. You can you can die items. That's cool. Blood contracts. Oh, it's disabled. Soul summons coming soon. Upgrades. That all looks normal, kind of. Maybe a little different. Crafting. Okay, that's all that. So life leech is on everything there. And then, yeah, this all looks pretty normal. New socket recipe at the top. Where? Socket related. Normal item plus gold bar equals socketed item. Okay. Ramal Ladni's gift plus magic or higher equals same item uh, plus one socket. Oh, and you can boost it so you can keep adding sockets. One of these essence is a socket remover. 10 socket removers equals premium socket remover. Nice. All right. Rune words, Amity. FCR, Summon Mastery, nice, Beauty, Sanctuary Aura when equipped, huh. Darkness, Five Cloak of Shadows, Loyalty, a little bit of ED, Extra Summons, Increased Strength, Lust, And madness. Oh, madness looks good. Armageddon. Whoa. That's wild. Chance. Daylight. Lightning, Mystery, and Nature's Kingdom. Okay, so let's make Lightning. 
So we need Ort, L, and probably Madness, right? F tier, Ort, L. That's nice. Broken Promise, that's also nice. Ooh, Despair. Envy, Eth Dull. Envy is really nice, we'll get there later maybe. Love, minus target defense, FCR. Morning, nature's kingdom again, okay. Lore is still here. We could make a lore if we wanted. Which is probably just good to do. Nadir, obsession. Hunger, humility, rhyme, yeah, yeah, Torsos. Still the same there. Any weapon. Axes. Time for some chest bow. Crossbow, clubs, hammers, maces, melee, orbs. Throwing, Deception, Am Shale, ooh, nice, Piercing. And Shale Burvex. Okay, so we need to get a Shale Rune eventually here. But for now we're gonna do, what do we say, Eth Tier, Ort L. <laughs> I have an M. No, okay, so let's make an M. M so So again, we wanted, was it F tier? F tier or L. F tier. Uh, tier 
F. L. F. Tier. What do we get? Two spell power, one combat power. Spell power and combat power. That's not what I thought it was. I thought it was quantities. Extra missiles, extra attacks. Okay, so that's changed, I guess. I was scammed. And what do we decide on gloves? That's just nice gloves. So L tier, maybe do that. Tier art. That's not bad. All right, let's do Broken Promise, L tier. Broken Promise. Hi, Mariano. My life is draining. Yeah, I've got madness on. Oh wait, hmm, where am I buying the two open socket booties from? Maybe she won't sell them. I'm lost, where am I? Who are you? Hello, how you doing? Good to see you, cheesy poofs. Thank you very much. All have a cube, don't I? Good call. So used to it. Job on cap would have been good to put it in. That's okay. Oh wait, Warren, before you go, let's let's I'll I'll do it right now. Let's take a look. Let me just get this. Let me go to the GitHub. Combat branch. Mouse is so loud. Perfect. Import. Browse. 
Oh wait, I have to extract it. Uh, combat this guy. G Game Master Combat one two three four. Where's the non-zipped file? Hi, Llama. That's way easier. I just okay. Let's check out the combat. Hey, you got the rock in there. I love it. And we got all these. Okay, we should probably have it highlight over where you're at. Warren, are you in here? Maybe that's like UI stuff for later. But it should probably have, you know, highlight and a better list format than this. Okay, that's fine. And I'm spit. Yeah, see it's just like when it's like here and like you can see how it drags into the bottom of the screen and then my mouse is just like a weird Yeah, it doesn't so it doesn't go off the screen, but it follows the mouse. I feel like just copy D2 in that way. Okay, and that's now doing that and doing that. Nice. We can't do two counters in a turn. That's good. Oh my god, he wrecked my face! Rock used a ranged attack with a recurve bow? Good lord. Heal. Uh, let's still do this puppy. Let's counter his ranged attack with a wand. Wait, which way does it go? Alright, well, I mean, we'll fix up the combat log later. You can see his items on the right. Oh! This is where you have it. Why are there chain boots in here like this? <laughs> Spell. Hard and strike. Oh, you, oh, that right now, they're overlaying. So you should probably on one click, then another click goes away. All right. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. All right, he, he doesn't have, uh, he doesn't have much. Let's beat him in the face and kill him. Bang, he's out of stamina. See, like, why can't I choose a second action right now? Or a third action? My stamina is above 66%. Oh my god, he's destroying my face. It may not be above. I need to heal, actually. Magic attack and defend. Oh my god. For $50 an hour? You think I'm that rich? That's Lama RPG. It's development right now. Well, it's, if you're above 66%, you get three attacks or actions. Between 33 and 66, you get two. And under 33%, you get one. Do you get four? No, you only get three actions max. Why did we test all that? I just wanted to test that it was uh, functioning because last time it, with the icons being all different, it was confusing to me. Yeah, we'll definitely want to have on the bar above at the lines of three, like where the number of actions they get, we'll want to have little indicators that show. I held you just to make sure. Well, I also gave you some feedback on a couple things that should be adjusted. So... This feels good in this game, man. That's it. And then, like, having, you know, at least highlighting is probably still something good to add in. No, you just, you never get four attacks. It's always three is the, to is the top. Sixty-seven to a hundred is your three. It's actually pretty brutal. Like playing through it. I mean, obviously, we don't have any of the numbers like set and figured out yet completely. But it's actually pretty wild because if you don't rest intermittently, you'll just find yourself suddenly down to one action per turn and then it's like oh crap i need to rest <laughs> but then it's like obvious that you know you're gonna rest so then they can like really go at you if they want you know like but if they go at you and then you don't rest you could maybe block, and then now they've burned a lot of energy, so now you both need to rest up. 
But they could also call your bluff and rest, and then do a couple actions with their rest, and then kind of put you in a really nasty spot. I'm already thinking of all the mind games you can have with it. Okay. Go make some fun changes. Let me know if you need help. Need anything. A little bit of rock, paper, llama. Yeah, we'll have to... I'll have to be aware of that further and just keep that in mind. Great job, Oren. Straight to level three, yeah. And that'll be something when we have testing. I mean, is it that big of an accomplishment, Rock? It doesn't even feel good to say I told you so with Diablo 4, you know? Because I really wanted more. I think the the changes that they they started showing though are at least a positive. Like, you know, I still think the game is definitely in that state where it's like, you know, kind of like Diablo 3. You can go and do all these changes and expansions and all that and that'll be enough to make the game all right. I don't think it's going to be uh you know, anything that I'm like it's not it's not the game that's that's gonna shift my world, you know. Do you wish Blizzard would do expansions for D2R? I mean, at this point, now that like a lot of the old Vicarious Visions has left and stuff, I, I don't know how much, you know, they need to touch D2R now. Like, if there's some people there that could maybe do some cool expansions, potentially, but I would, I would have a little concern. But the nice thing is, again, if you're building for Diablo 2 Resurrected, you're, you can do a lot. Like, if you go play, you know, a variety of mods, even like this mod, I can already see things that I would change on it that I, you know, think, eh, it's okay, this would be better like this, whatever. But, like, even with all that, they're building, this game is built on top of Diablo 2 Resurrected. Or Diablo 2. Which is just, like, a godly game. So... That really, like, helps all of it, you know? When when the base you're building on is so good, has such gorgeous itemization and stuff, it's hard to make something that's terrible. Mm, those are nice. Gems over here for now. And some runes over here. So, it's kind of my thoughts there. What's the little statue do? It counts how many kills and deaths I have. <laughs> that light. Hello. I haven't looked into the WoW Classic Hardcore release yet. Whoa, Palace Cellar is different. I 
I part of me wants to like go hard on it. I don't know if it's too much of a departure and a shift though. You know, I got a baby I gotta feed. I can't just uh, play what I'm feeling to have fun. I gotta make sure I'm playing stuff that can buy them diapies. Music in here is so good. You're here for it? Perfect. Gotta keep the lights on, exactly. Exactly. Arcane Sanctuary guaranteed first way? Seeming like it. Mr. Rama B, Mr. Rama L L A, Mr. Rama M A, Mr. Rama H. Rock Mr. Candy Rama Radio. My review of this mod will depend on if I get a first way or not. Pretty much. How good is this mod? One out of four, we'll see. With the one being the best and four being terrible. Is this the best mod? It's not. No. No, it is not. But, could still get a two. Could still be worth a two. We'll have to see. It's the best mod. We're hunting for it. Number two. Senpai is not porting over, he said. Is there leap still? I believe there is still leap. Heroic leap. The green ore is natural resistance. It's a casted skill now. Ew, I know. That's what I said. How is that natural? Yeah. 
It's the game two. Oh my god! It's terrible, boys. So sad that I have to give a negative review. So sad. Oh yeah, everybody loves the hunt. The loot is the biggest thing, which again, I feel like Diablo 4 started making some nice changes. They're getting quality of life to not even like amazing spots, but where it should have been at the start, you know. But the items are still, the loot is still not fun. And until they fix the loot, the game will not be that fun. That's just basic math. Neff and normal is uh, common, yeah. Combat efficiency. All right, I'm gonna start going combat efficiency instead. Yeah, the apex pool is terrible. The items are not fun. Everything is just damage in some different way that's not even like an interesting way to have it. Oh my god, did we fourth way it? This mod is so bad. They said they're focused on items to be more fun and diverse. Like, going forward. They're changing up some unique items, they said, but... I'm talking about general items. Need a lot of work. A little death spade. I mean, your whole inventory can be oops, charms, which is probably not good for this. Because then that just forces you to run an entire inventory of charms. No mouse stream. Uh, you can't really play this game without a mouse unless you're doing, like, controller. No hit run challenge. We've done fewest hits possible. Amazon was actually sub 100 hits. It's pretty wild. You can play the game with just a mouse. Though every now and then you need to press escape if you like die or something and then your, your mouse won't let you like go forward. But if you just play hardcore, don't die. Then you could probably do full mouse only. You know, I'll probably just play with only the bottom with charms and pretend like it's locked and limited for it. Unless it's balanced around full charms in the entire inventory. Mm -hmm. 
Is there a highlight somewhere with the differences of this mod? I have a YouTube video I'll put out probably tomorrow evening. That has... It doesn't go through like all the differences. It kind of talks a little bit about it. There's, there's a lot of differences. So... But, I mean, if you go to, like, mod info right here, you can get a lot of the information. You know, new bosses, new levels, changes to items and runes. I haven't really played the end game much here at all. I've, I've gone a tiny bit into it, but not much, really. Cuba charm by itself. What does it do? D2R mods cannot be multiplayer right now until they. Until somebody figures out the architecture and hacks it all. Doesn't do anything when I keep a charm by itself. Fake news. People seem to really like the Paladin in this a lot. Lime RPG meeting tomorrow at 12? Yeah. have more news of things coming along on my end. Oh my god, I just realized I went in the wrong tomb. I went in square, didn't I? That's fine. Good to kill stuff. I don't know if jewels are good to have or not. Yeah, a little experience doesn't hurt. Yeah, that's true. Jeweled rune words are really nice later on, so. But I mean, like, just general jewels. Like, these aren't amazing. These are just, like, random jewels, you know. Does throwing use quantity? Uh, for some of the skills, yes. I'm losing life because I'm using a... A thing that loses me life. Drain life item.
Bonesy is the end game balanced around the entire inventory being filled with charms? Or just... Ooh, nice. We got the shale rune. What was that item we wanted to make once we got shale? Is it a boot? Throwing weapon? Am shale. Deception. Okay. I need to find open socket. Throwing though. Do you think having transmogs would be cool in this game? I mean, I, I think general transmog system is kind of boring. Um, I think it's a lot cooler when a transmog system is like a die system or something like that. That to me is a much cooler way to do it. Why have I not hired a mercenary? Oh, mercenaries are good now? But just straight up, like, changing it to be... look like another item is... Eh, not as cool. Because then, yeah. But, I mean, I, I don't hate it. I think, I think the system is, like, fine. The light blue items are ethereal. Charms and runes seem abundant. I agree. Probably too many charms dropping. But I mean, you know, again, I'm just... I like the ethereal having its own color. Yeah, it's their mod, they do whatever they want with it. But yeah, it probably drops a little too much for me in terms of that. I don't think there's rune stacking or gem stacking. I don't know if anybody's figured out how to do that yet here. Alright, let's see. No stacking since everybody prefers bags once they get used to it. The bag is still nice, yeah. Do I need socketed boots? Uh, that's a throwing weapon that I need. Though I guess socketed boots would be good to make some sort of boot runeward eventually. Sickle? Oh. 
No town portals, I know. What? I have failed. Diablo has Tancred's Crowbill. Hmm. Irathas and another Angelics. Yeah, look at how many charms I have. It's taking up all my bag space. I'd rather a mod remove charms than add more charms. <laughs> charms are just too annoying. I love charms, but I hate charms. Mostly because there's not actually like a dedicated real charm bag, you know. Nah, it's not too hard to set up. I'll I'll put them in there eventually. Oh, I I have a mercenary now. No. All right, where where do I get a mercenary? Sure is over here. Frozen orb. Okay. Jelani, it is. Okay. What do I have for you, buddy? What does he use? Just like swords for a weapon? We'll find you some basic gear on the ground. Yeah, there's end game system with this. I should have played Sorceress and gone for the... What's the aura? Combat prowess. Gone for the multi-spec Hydra. I love those. You can play Hydras that are lightning, cold, and fire damage. So cool. Swords and orbs. This is remodded. That's an item specific skill? Oh, that comes from uh, that one staff. Can only get end game. It's so cool though. Mm. 
Yeah, the mercenary actually has like a bunch of dope skills going. to our mods, let's go. I'm enjoying this ice throw. I guess he can't use orbs. Just so safe. Level 25 crystal sword. So close. Game should definitely game should definitely uh, get really interesting when we get towards like end game further. Ariots, wind, homing, war stance. Okay, that's for that. Yeah, very reminiscent of Freezing Arrow, which I love. Freezing Arrow. I think the synergies are a little messy. The skill tree definitely feels like it would be um, a place that could use a lot of improvement. Like I think some of the new skills are definitely really cool, but the tree itself and the synergies are a little rough. Also, the potions are really confusing. Like, it just doesn't make sense why I'm dropping potions that are, like, I only can buy minor potions, and then I, I drop minor potions, but also super potions sometimes, and it's, it's, it's just, it's confusing. You should also maybe remove gem shrines. They don't seem like they matter since all gems will come out perfect anyways. Um, La Muggy? La Muggy is... Bonesy, can you link to the drop link? The drop box of La Muggy? There are only two potion types, it's the heal by sun HP percent instead of flat percent. So you're saying there is 50 or 100 percent. Gotcha. Visually it's confusing. And name wise even. Like minor mana potion, somebody coming from playing Diablo and then switching to that.
So maybe just even change the name of it from minor healing potion to, you know, and then make it like a regular potion or a light potion, one of the two for the visual. Half and whole, yeah, something like that. Gotcha. Um, yeah. The, the gems dropping, I feel like if they always extract it perfect, maybe just make them all perfect. I guess the idea is if you want to use gems early on before you're level 18, but it's definitely weird dropping like perfect gems right next to flawed and then chipped and, and whatever and then you just cube it in and out to make it. Do I think the fla the flash system is good or bad? Yeah, so it's I, I don't know, it's a, little, it's a little strange. I understand, I guess, where, where it goes, but... It's a little weird. Maybe it's fine, though. I mean, it's not like a huge deal. I actually really like the flash system in PoE before it got too wild. Once it turned into playing your keyboard... Uh, it and needing to needing to have your flask up all the time because it would give you you know extra defense for whatever time and blah 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 blah. It became too much. It was off putting. But the general flask idea, especially where you know you could have it for basic things like if you're bleeding you can take bleed off and whatever stuff just kind of you know basic small ways i liked it you don't need the piano anymore that's good have them permanent enabled i don't know if that's better though an item that makes them permanently enabled Do I know how to play the piano? Not well, but I can play a couple things here and there and have some fun with it. Gotcha. I don't know. I, I still think the flash system is... It has some troubles. The biggest issue with the flask system is needing to build up your flask charges by killing ads, thus making every boss require there to be ads. I think that's the biggest issue it has. But overall, I think it's the best, you know, attempt at um, potions. I think I think it's the greatest potion system that we we have so they've done pretty well with it At this point, do you stop picking up charms? Yeah, I mean, that's definitely something I'm, like, noting over to uh, Bonesy here. The charm drops are, are, are annoying at this point. 
You feel like you have to pick them up, but you don't want to pick them up. <laughs> it's so, so many charms. Oh, me too, Johnny. Excited. That, and then again, the fact that now I have a double inventory size that I fill with charms. Oof. It's too many. Too many. This holy blade does not belong in the hands of the Zaka room. Okay, let's just start trashing stuff. I just, I just can't do it. It's just taking up too much of my space. I like the one mana for kill, but... Uh, Shadowfan Katana. Very nice. That's garbage. Island Shore. <laughs> if you can make a charm zone in the soft code, you would, yeah. Huh, no, I say just burn the charms down, man. That's my thoughts. Burn them to the ground. Create some other way. Wait, why does... What? I only have a Tome of Town portal as a skill with 45, so it took until I had... A bunch before I could actually see the skill. That's a weird bug, Bonesy. Yeah, maybe like... No, I mean, that's hard to say. I, mean, I was going to say, like, cube charms in the inventory into a bag, and that bag gives you all the bonus of the charms. But then the problem is, how do you remove the bonuses you don't want and stuff? So... But it's at least starting to get become a better thought. That could work, yeah. It would need to be something people would understand, though. It isn't too confusing. Mm 
Can't wait to see a new boss. Yeah, I don't think we get to see those till later, unfortunately. Oh, it's level three. Unfortunately. Throw Baba. later in the game. Yeah, new bosses are developed, but we're in normal still, so... Cool down by 5%. We'll give it to him. Act on Merce worked best with the throw barb. What's the uh, what's the Act on Mercenary have going for it? Does that have anything super cool? Yeah, you can give him all the all the items. Uh, that's true, I've got quick cat, or I've got, uh, not quick cast, whatever you call it. Meteor arrows? Oh my god. I forget I have telekinesis. Good level to wait till you use to imbue your tiara. Uh, you can imbue a diadem at starting at level eight tiara, probably level what, like 14 or something. Bronze grand charm of the glacier. Why is the bronze blue? Funny. All mods are offline only, unfortunately, in Detour. For now. Maybe one day. Dull rune? That gives us a new rune word potential. Doll? No, there's another one. Did I watch the game tonight? I watched the the Rangers game. I saw just a little bit of the Houston game. Could you make Doran with the hand thing? Uh, no, I needed... So there's low rune, mid rune, and high rune points. So I only have one mid rune point. I don't, I don't have a, a point or enough points for it. 
So dull rune is worth, you know, like four mid runes or something. Probably. Four points. There's a converter of low to mid. Oh my gosh. Never mind then, I guess I could have. What's the conversion rate? Does that splash damage on my weapon? Yeah. Well, the skill has a splash, an explosion on it. No price. Same as doing two times rune to upgrade to the next tier. So the the cost for conversion is. Hold on, I guess I'm confused. Like, I have 4,852 points. 2, 000, so if I spend 2,048 points, I get one midpoint. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't seem worth it. <laughs> I mean, like, later on, potentially, but, you know, right now, no. Yeah, whatever Jeet is now. Ederimia or something like that. Whatever his name is. Yeah, it's the same as two times runes. Exactly. It, it doesn't seem like it's too much. It's... Okay, we can run multi shrine here, that's nice. Shrine's done over right. Yeah, you can just download as well. Or downgrade. Perfect. my opinion on D4. Well, I got a lot of YouTube videos on that. Overall, itemization needs to be fixed. Otherwise, the game will continue to suffer. Their latest changes, though, I think at least do have some promise and show, like, that they're getting quality of life and pieces that need to be in the game in there. So that part is good. I will say that much. Stuff that should have been in, in there at the start of the game, though. You know, it, di it didn't need to be this long. You know, it's really interesting playing through, like, Diablo 4, playing through this game, playing through other games. I really feel like, just Diablo 2 in general, whatever stuff, I really feel like I'm starting to get a really good sense of what works, what doesn't work, when things work well, when they don't. Like, I feel like I've, I'm gaining a lot of... Nice white javelin playthrough, yeah. A lot of sense in the ways of even even some basic pieces, you know, like I was just saying there, with like the charms and that sort of stuff. I just, I'm feeling a lot more confident in uh, all of that. And like Diablo 4, like I felt really confident with all of the pieces that I didn't think we're gonna work well. And we're gonna like 
lead to the game, you know, having issues. And when all of those really kind of came to fruition, I felt like, okay. I'm, like, starting to really believe in my, you know, ability to see the issues. I'm from Dallas. I don't, I don't actually care about the Astros. This was just a free shirt. No, there's stuff that they've soft, like they've built in for players to be able to modify. Right, like they, to make the game somewhat moddable. Right, free shirt is a free shirt, man. I mean, look, I'm not wearing a, a Philadelphia Eagles shirt or anything gross like that, but... I mean, I guess the Astros have become grosser over the years. I just don't care quite enough about baseball. Yeah, I mean, they're pretty, like, trash as a club with all that cheating. I don't know how that hasn't been stripped away from them. Probably just need to put some trash cans on this shirt. Is there a way you could add two sockets to your weapon? Yeah, I think we need to look at the mod info and look at that. Ooh, ring, ring. Angelics, and we are in business, baby. Maybe now the world will but yeah, I'm, I'm feeling really confident in just seeing issues in games and what's working, what's not working. Um, so I think that's, that's really promising to me and makes me feel like really good about it. Hello. Just really good about all of that stuff. Remove strength enhancement. Oh, interesting. Hey, we did get angelics. And Mamba's Circle. Three to mana per kill. Yes, please. We could run dual angelics, though, if we wanted, which is nice. Five midpoints. Let's go, baby. And where do I get potions? You. So I think something else that's been really interesting to see along the way has been. Um, the. Change of, or, or just like the importance of having the perfect amount of stuff to do without it being too much. And if it is too much, the way that you properly introduce it. I think this is something that a lot of games get wrong. Right? They either A, overload you. At the start, a great example is Path of Exile. It's just, it's just too much, right? Oh wait, we need to look and see. Uh, 
I guess it'll be in here. General, custom, was there like, where's add sockets? Socket related. Normal item plus a gold bar equals socketed. Okay, so I would need a gold bar, which is 500,000 gold. I don't have that. Right, PoE overloads you at the start and then also throughout the entire game. It just like never stops overloading you. Um, and so like, it's really difficult because the thing is, PoE actually has some cool stuff to it. But, there's so many systems and they're just not introduced well. To learn all those systems, it's just like a nightmare. And you just, you feel like there's so many times you get stuff and you just have no clue what it does. You're just like, what is this for? And so there's definitely a really fine balance that, you know, is, is just so important in games of how much you're introducing, how much, you know, uh, you start out as, without also being so dumbed down. Like so many, you know, mobile garbage games, it's like you're not allowed to unlock the torture room until level 10. And then at level 10, you know, it's like, you can't unlock guild features until you're level 15. Like, there's a bunch of just, like, stupid stuff. And that's, like, the reverse of it, where they just dumb it down so much you can't do anything in the game. Including basic features that... Why would why would you not be allowed to, you know, be, join a guild hall until that level? It doesn't make sense. So... These sorts of things are, are things that I'm really focusing on and thinking about with Lum RPG um, because I think it's super important and I think it's something that I'm really starting to get a feel for. And like I said, just see so many games fail at. But making sure that you do ultimately end up with good complexity I think is important. I think a lot of people do want a game to end up and have, you know, I can think of something like maybe this game or PD2 or whatever where the end game is exciting. It's got a lot of cool different, you know, currencies and ways that you can do stuff. But the introduction to it is, is really important. So that'll be stuff I'll have to think about how I introduce, you know, the systems in Lama RPG and such. And then you get feedback on that. Just like... For sure. I'm not... When is TwitchCon again? When's TwitchCon and when's BlizzCon? When are those two? in two weeks in Vegas oh man going to Vegas seems tough that seems a little tough right now how hard is this to install easy as ABC So probably not TwitchCon. When's BlizzCon? Uh, 
November something, right? Where's Ishwa? Ishwa, where'd you go, buddy? StarCraft 3 announcement at BlizzCon? I don't think they're gonna touch RTS. Unless they make a mobile StarCraft game or something. You see that. <laughs> StarCraft Immortal. Hey man, if your game doesn't have the ability for someone to put $10,000 into it, is it even a game worth producing? That's my question to you right now. You know, technically, Llama RPG you could put $10,000 into. Because it just has like a generic donate, essentially, if you want to support the creator, so. Booyakasha! Hmm, Saigons. Another Mambas. Yeah, I'm here for it. Let's do a Mambas circle. Do I win if I donate enough? No, you get absolutely nothing, but... Clean off that blood before you come into my shop. Doesn't give you anything, just uh... Says thank you, let's you have some little fun. Nothing for 10k? Yep, that's the point. Whoa, summons a barbarian to fight alongside you? I have a barbarian I could have been summoning this whole time? Oh my gosh. What a fool I am for not knowing. Whoa, what's that fourth spot? River of Flame, Chaos Sanctuary has a waypoint now, interesting. Barbro, love his name. Dude, I love Barbro now.
How do I like this mod so far? Seems rather complicated. No, it's actually not that complicated so far. I definitely think some things have been introduced uh, in a way that, yeah, they could be a little simpler. But, oh, I don't think it's too bad right there. Level 31. Oh yeah, I'm power leveling. I've been on players 8 this whole time. Paladin Oni. Yeah, I guess Jelani can't use that. Barbro! How do you start the mod? Uh, I use D2R launch to start it. Then once it's in there, you just press play mod. Storage bag work, you can store it. runes, gems, keys, organs, all that stuff in that tiny little bag, and then you just take out whenever you want. Oh, you can also store uniques and sets. Wait, how does that work? I imagine you, when you remove, you use the points for crafting or something maybe? How are they handling mobility? Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe Enigma. Backseater! What's up? Heroes 3, then Lum RPG. Heroes 3, then Lum RPG. Yeah, Barbo is having a tough time here. It doesn't store sets unique, so it extracts cores from them and then use cores to craft new sets uniques. Got it. You're saying every set and unique I find I should be picking up. Hi, Tool. Do you think there's a mod that's done the best in regard to changes? D2R or Legacy? <laughs> Sorry, Bira. I mean, I think PD2 is the Legacy mod. I mean, Median XL as well. It just depends. Do you want something closer to vanilla or really just like insane? You know, I think those two mods are the ones that really are there. I'm enjoying this, but there's definitely room for this one to grow. You know, there's a lot of stuff to, to be improved. And obviously there's limitations as well, so it's hard to say like how much can. Yeah, I like the having the like different skill changes and stuff here is kind of fun. Media XL is super hard, it's crazy. Yeah, you can't do online. Still locked down in Detour. <laughs> PD2 is not coming to Detour. Senpai already said. 
So yeah, single player only, but I mean, I love single player, so. No way, Hom Watcher. This is a icy trail build. It's kind of like Freezing Arrow. That's wild. No, nah, you can't just copy paste over. There's a lot of work to be done with it. Still waiting for the two socket throne rune, rune word? Me too. I oh, don't know, I haven't found any two socket weapons, I don't think. I don't think I've found any socketed we weapons yet. There's the waypoint. Yeah, sanctuary waypoint. Kind of pog. Cow waypoint exist? What? That's dope. Andy. Zombie head. Okay, so let's see. We found a decomposed leader. Obviously, it doesn't matter for us. So we cube it in here, and we have two uniques now. So we can craft with that later, I guess. Seven life, actually, not terrible. But I'd rather have res. I'll make a video showcasing this mod. I made a... I have a video that talks a little bit about it, some of the changes, all that stuff. It won't have any of the gameplay like this, though, but I will just, like, highlight this video and port it over. So... That'll be an easy way for people to just see it. Yeah, I think the, the slamming is really fun. Everybody loves slamming stuff. It's maybe gotten a little wild, but the general idea of it still. I think it's really loved by many. I don't know what good builds or classes are for this. I'm just winging it. Whoa! That's dirty.
Dude, this is Rex Diablo. <laughs> So many rings. Another one. Are they all the exact same? Looks like it. Five to Firestorm Sorceress. Whoa. Also 3% experience gain. Interesting. Okay, can I do multiples of these at a time or no? Oh, you can. Nice. Hello, traveler. Hello. Yeah, there's some some items are are now set like that, brood. Bro. There's still plenty that are in for everybody, but there are some now. Roger Cube is 16 by 13, so it's not actually a square, it looks like. Still a rectangle. Is everything only sell for one gold? Yeah, it's hard to get gold for sure at the start there. Where's the second mercenary? Oh, my barb bu buddy. There he is. Normal Countess. What sells for 1k plus? Ah, oh, the runes, yeah. <laughs> Is there a unique composite bow back there? A little bit like Glacial Spike, a little bit like Freezing Arrow. I like it, either way. Is the area shorter? I don't think so. No, it seems like the same length. is your daily reminder that your Twitch Prime subscription may be available. 
You just click on the subscribe button and look, it'll say subscribe for free or subscribe with Prime, whatever it says with little checkbox. You can use it here, you can use it anywhere. Use it on your favorite streamer on Twitch. Just make sure you use it. Otherwise, you're giving it to Daddy Bezos. And that's a, that's a sad, sad way to spend it, let me tell you. Very sad. Remind you on November 1st. Can do. Impossible. Ooh, nice binary. Solid, uh, candy. Frigid. <laughs> I like it by now. I guess we can save him. So, less necessary. Go home, go home. I give the candy to kids so you can give it all yourself. See, that's what I, when he said I got my candy today, I thought he was saying for himself. Because you know when the candy is in our house, my porch light is off. Daddy Llama's eating the candy. Uh, that is correct, Gio. Don't. But this year I get to take my baby around dressed up and have a Halloween candy bag for her and then I can just eat all of her candy. So it's great. Well, she's too young to actually eat it, but you know, she wants to be a part of the tradition of trick-or-treating, so. I will eat the candy if I must. Dad tax, man. Put little horns on her forehead, that'd be cute. Will there be maps in future mods? There's kinda like maps in this one. You always give little babies in costumes extra candy? Exactly. I gotta make sure she doesn't get diabetes. So I will make the sacrifice. Noble, thank you. Player agreements. 
Uh, I don't remember that. how good D2R looks. Yeah, D2R looks, I mean, it does look really good. What's another build that's easy to level with, like throw barb? I don't know, uh, somebody else in chat might give you. It seems like a lot of people are enjoying Paladin right now. Fire strafes on? There you go. Aw, oh, man, I wanted to play a fire strafes on. Chat convinced me into Barbarian. It's okay, this is still a Fine build. It has mod support, it's not as good. You can't do as much, but. And do some stuff, so. Are my speedrun strats working? I mean, I feel like we're getting through the game at an alright pace. Plus, I'm level 34, so I'm trying to, like, level while getting through, you know. Yeah, Bash has AoE on it. Uh, and a couple other skills will have AoE, so. That light blue is ethereal. And the dark blue is just magic. Yeah, once you get through normal, by the way, you get a teleport charm. So everybody gets to teleport. That's right, somebody asked about teleport. I, I, I forgot. Everybody gets to teleport in this game now. Once you've beaten normal bail. Neat, weird, interesting. Yep, kind of all of those. <laughs> I think this mod still has got some work, but I mean, I haven't seen the like later game. Maybe it really starts to get solid there. I don't know. The normal playthrough has been... I mean, I've enjoyed getting to play a new character. A th icy throw barb. Has been fun. Yeah, there's definitely there's definitely uh, some stuff to clean up on it, but I am having a lot of fun with it. I think it's done a really solid job. The end mapping-ish part is really fun. Oh wait, is Bonesy still in here? Yeah, there he is. Um, Bonesy, I just I just figured it out. Wick Wickers, thank you. Don't make perfect gems and things drop at the start. Just have gems drop like they normally do. So it's still the same progression where you're just getting chips early and then flods and then, you know, whatever. But then you can use the baggie to make them perfect if you would like. But just dropping perfect gems at level 3 and stuff just feels weird. Wait, why can't I put another point? Max level reached. Skills improve from plus skills on gear.
I think the idea is you would get a teleport staff anyways, you know. Not all skills cap at 20. Interesting. What's the aura? Uh, it is... Seals of Despair. It's actually not that great for me because it improves cast rate and stuff, so... I should probably go get a, a mercenary. What mercenary has the best that'll, like, increase attack speed and stuff? An aura. Act 5 Frenzy Mercenary. That's the one I should go after. What up, X? Yeah, I wish they would. You're going to BlizzCon this year? Let's go, baby. We need to have like a little Diablo creator party. Gotta build the Barb Trio team. Yeah. Mm <laughs> hmm. I don't think Bex is in here. They've been here at some point, but. Oh my god, I gotta kill these guys. It takes so long. Oh, I didn't apply for GDQ. Is there a... When's the next GDQ at? I gotta figure out when I'm applying. I always miss the application time for it. Wasn't I banned? No, I wasn't banned from GDQ. Oh my gosh. It was a joke. They understood it was a joke. I, I never did a StarCraft speedrun at GDQ. I would love to actually take it to GDQ. That'd be really dope. Okay, let's see. Physical resistance attack rating, max HP. I mean, I do like physical resistance. Um... Oh no, he can't use Ancient's Pledge. Sure. No, there's no beef about the Doctors Without Brothers thing. It was just fun. Let's go. Yeah, they allow modding, but they give you uh, essentially a list of stuff that you can mod and how you can mod it. So you can't just mod everything exactly how you want, which is how in Legacy 
Yeah, I mean, they still give you a good amount, but there are limitations, like you can't mod in an unlimited stash and stuff. You probably can't mod in, like, just fully creating, like, maps completely and all this, I imagine. What's the point of the bag you put gems and runes into? Uh, it's like a storage container, so I can take it out later and get runes and gems later. There are new areas and bosses, but I'm saying I doubt you can build giant extensive areas. Maybe I'm wrong. But I'm guessing there is limits on what you get to build with it, you know. Like Meeting in Excel, the maps there are insane, you know. Like you could build like Act Six and Seven and Eight and all that stuff. I I doubt you can do quite that here. Uh, it's not exactly an item filter. I, I bet an item filter can be created, though. But there's, like, item uh, different ways to identify and show the items on the screen and stuff, but... Everything D2R modded is offline. No online stuff yet. Super sad. There's no way to land with D2R. Yeah, exactly. They just kind of bricked it out. So. Fortunately. Okay. Yep, not until someone finishes their private server implementation and figures out all the everything to be done there. I mean, I think they, basically the technical alpha got hacked and I think that exposed too much. There was too many ways people were able to see and figure out how to dupe and how to, you know, bot and whatever stuff, which obviously like botting is still rampant, but duping I think especially was, you know, figured out. And so I think that for them they were like, you know what, like let's not expose this, let's close this loophole essentially that people were figuring out so that we can prevent that. 
It's a tough one, Trick. Souls probably have more kills overall. Depends the character, though. Where the big differences in PD2? There's, there's a lot. A lot of changes. I wish that Ariot's Wind actually was, like, better. The damage just kind of sucks on it. Just, like, no damage whatsoever. The Guardians of Mount Arya are waiting. No, they're not Yemench. Barb vs. Barb! Let's go, baby! Drop items. That's funny. Should have turned into Maddock and just confused him. Yeah, I probably should have. Yeah, I mean, that is nice. But it's a shorter range, right? Oh, I can't. I need javelins for it. Or some other throwing weapon, I guess. The second bar Barbro is a summon of mine. Adion, thank you very much for the prime sub. Wick Wuckus, thank you very much as well for the sub. Might have missed that one before. Appreciate you both. Wait, wait, wait. Where's the waypoint? Good old rent a bar. PvP? Well, it can't go online, so PvP is unfortunately out. Unfortunately. Fight my barb, bro. Hey, 
Okay, blood bosses can appear down here now, I guess. Interesting. So many charms. Mr. Bale. Remove any major things? Yeah, they uh, adjusted some of the, the pieces down. So like a lot of the levels will be less there's like less levels. Just think about how sometimes charms is a bad design. Yeah. It is true. I've been using the same skill and other good choices. I could probably shift over into using uh, a combination now if I wanted of Icy Trail and Fan Out. Fan Out was actually really interesting. How do you get the gems runes out of the storage bag? So if you go talk to Edorimo, whatever that one dude's name is, he has extractors. So you can, you just use these things and you can remove the gems, runes, whatever pieces. Ah, classic Rowan, so good. Yeah, stash sizes are bigger. If you want retail, but you still want to, like, have a larger stash, La Muggy is the mod for you. I'll be releasing a video with it in a second. Or, like, in a... probably tomorrow, the next day. It's the latest, greatest, hottest thing. How big of a stash? You will get eight tabs that are 16 by 13. Plus you'll have the vault where you can infinitely store stuff. You can't use the morning star, I guess. Swords only still. That's right, Hoagie. La Muggy. It totally rolls off the tongue. You crazy. It has its own UI, yeah. No shallot. There are no tomes in this mod. The tomes are infinite. They auto replenish. La Mugly? Whoa, now. Easy there. Get him. I need money. 
Llama RPG soundtrack with llama raps? Well, there's already a llama RPG soundtrack, and it's pretty dope if I say so myself. Play some bail music. Oh my god. What? Where is that? Bail time. Necro, how is it feeling? Easy. Beacon of hope! Plus one to teleport! Yay! Now we get to teleport! Ugh! Oh yeah, you can't teleport in here. It's funny, you get that and then immediately you can't teleport. <laughs> oh my god, I can't do it! Ah! <laughs> that zone's too hard. <laughs> I'm level 40 in normal, I'm getting pounded in there. Mavericks. It is on player's one. Alright. We got through normal. That's good for today. Level 40. Crushing it. <laughs> That's funny, Matt. GG, you guys. GG. I am off tomorrow. Moo Girl's got to do stuff, so I have to be a dad. Uh, but I will be back on Monday. We'll have some more fun. Mwah. Kisses to you all. Thank you guys for being here. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And I will see you on Monday.